Hello and welcome to the Philippines. We've got some uh, significant uh, events happening here in the Philippines with volcanoes and earthquakes. Uh, we've got the uh, Mayon volcano uh, erupting for several days and uh, also the Taal volcano is a little bit of an unrest. I'll cover those and a couple of of uh, significant earthquakes that have happened here in the last week or so here in the Philippines. I'll go over that information. One thing you might consider when you're deciding where to move, I think uh, the Mayon volcano, I think they have evacuated uh, 17,000 or more people from around this volcano in the last week. The Mayon volcano continues to emit lava sulfur dioxide and uh, kind of interesting information down here. Let's go down here and get some of the information. Mayon volcano's very low effusion of lava emission of sulfur dioxide continue amid its, amid its current high level of unrest, uh, said Phil Volks. In its bulletin issued on Saturday, volcanologists said the fusion of lava was observed from my, my own sunnet, summit crater feeding lava flows and collapsed debris. Lava flows ad have advanced to maximum lengths of 1,500 meters from the summit crater while collapsed debris have deposited uh, to 3,300 meters from the crater. Apart from this, Phil Volks noted that nine dome collapse pyroclastic density currents, 280 rockfall events, and two volcanic earthquakes were also recorded by the Mayon Volcanic Netro Network within the same period, continuous moderate degassing and sulfur dioxide emissions also persisted. Well, these developments, uh, with these developments, Phil Volks reiterated that Mayon volcano is still under alert level three. Under this level, level hazardous eruption within weeks or even days is possible. Filipinos residing with or within or near a six kilometer radius permanent danger zone were told to evacuate due to the hazards. And that is, uh, I think they are talking about extending that I listen to a uh, a channel that does quite a bit of geological type information on volcanoes in particular, and I'll put a link to that in the description. Before I get to the Taal volcano up by Manila area, Batangas area, I'll cover a couple of earthquakes happening here. We've had a couple of larger earthquakes here in the Philippines recently, magnitude 6.2. I've seen a lot of them say 6.3 anyway in uh, Calatagan, Calatagan, Batangas, tremor felt in Manila. Phil Volks is the agency that uh, uh, tracks this type of information. Any Batangas is in the in this area. Of, so it's uh, occurred offshore here relatively deep, I think, so that it, uh, it didn't have the shaking that it would have if it was a shallower quake. You have the Manila area right up in here. And they felt it up in here. A uh, little bit of dam various types of damages. I haven't seen the pictures yet. But there again, because it was quite deep, it didn't have the shaking that a more shallow quake would have. Now, just a number of years ago, they had what was called earthquake swarms here. And over the course of, I don't remember, a week or two, they had lots of smaller quakes uh, offshore here in this area. So a little more detail here uh, was 6.2, uh, Thursday, June 15th, was felt in portions of Manila. Uh, according to Phil Volks, uh, the tectonic uh, tremor occurred at 10.19 a.m., four kilometers southwest of said area, had a depth of 103 kilometers. So 103, that would be about 63, 64 miles deep, I believe. And here's another report of a magnitude 5.6 quake hits up in the Cagayan area, just north uh, north of the main Luzon up here. Uh, I think these are all called Batanus Islands area and uh, tourist area up in that area. It wasn't very long ago that uh, we've had a pretty strong earthquake right over in this area over here and it did some damage and was felt in a fairly large area. 
So some details here. Phil Volks uh, reported that the earthquake was tectonic in or origin and had a depth of 53 kilometers. An epicenter was 10 miles kilometers northwest of Dalupiri Island. The earthquake was felt intensity 4 in Burgos, Ilocos Norte, Calayan, Cagayan, intensity 3, number of places there. For those who are interested, I will put a link to uh, a channel called Dutch Sense, and he does a pretty good job of forecasting. Uh, interesting, interesting method and a lot of science information on his site, Dutch Sense, and uh, put a link to that. He's got kind of long videos, but he goes into a lot of description and uh, interesting anyway. Now a little bit about the uh, continuing unrest at Tall Volcano up uh, just south of uh, south of the Manila area in Batangas area, and uh, they just a couple of years ago they had a major eruption there, uh, spread ash even up into the Manila area, and I'm not sure where she's looking out from, but it uh, kind of like a crater within a crater, real interesting situation. There's actually a lot of people who fish that lake uh, within the crater. They fish it, and uh, there's a lot of tourist-type activities, uh, a lot of riding. I think uh, they've got horses on, on the, the main crater and even on the inside crater as well. You can go and ride around the volcanic island. Of course, that's a problem. There, I read an article about them trying to, uh, trying to rescue horses after that volcanic eru eruption, and uh, many of the horses died. Uh, but they were able to bring some over on small boats and uh, revive them, I guess, uh, after previous uh, eruptions. But a lot of people live very near to this volcano and even within the volcano. They, they fish and uh, tourist guides. And jumping over to the Department of Science and Technology, Phil Volts, uh, Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, and we're talking about tall volcano here, summer, summary of 24-hour observation, uh, June 16th, 2023, uh, low level unrest, alert level one, tall is uh, just south of up uh, near Batangas, south of the Manila metropolitan area. They've had uh, 38 volcanic earthquakes, and, and including 17 volcanic tremors, two to 10 minutes long. Uh, acidity level, temperature, uh, tons of sulfur dioxide, observing upwelling of hot volcanic fluids in the main crater lake. And it's interesting, you've got a, you've got uh, kind of like two lakes here, basically. You've got uh, the main crater within another crater. Plume, 3,000 meters tall, voluminous emission, southwest and northwest drift. Uh, short-term inflation, ground deformation, short-term inflation of the western tall volcanic island, long-term deflation of tall caldera. To all, you pronounce both A's. Uh, not, not allowed entry into tall volcano island, permanent danger zone, especially the main crater, the main crater, and boating uh, and occupancy and boating on Tall Lake or flying any aircraft close to the volcano. It was just a few short years ago that it had a major eruption, as a matter of fact, and uh, a lot of people had to evacuate. Uh, and they, they used to give tours up here. I'm not sure if they do anymore or not. You go up here and look on in, and uh, even you could ride horses, I think. They had a lot of horses in here. You could, could rent a horse to ride around. I'm not quite sure the details if the horses were on this island or this or both. Uh, of course, they're outside of the volcano. There are developments as well. A lot of people living there as well as uh, housing developments. And they were covered in ash even up in the Manila area. People were, uh, that area was even, uh, got a certain amount of ash fall uh, from that eruption. And jumping over to the Smithsonian Institution, Natural Museum of Natural History, National Museum of Natural History. And here's a look at the uh, here's a look at the uh, volcano within a volcano. I think, if I'm accurate in uh, describing it that way. And uh, let's go down here. A series of uh, phreatic and phreatomagnetic 
Matic explosions began in January 2020 and subsequent explosions occurred in July and November 2021 and uh, January to March of 2022. I think that's the explosions I've been talking about. Here's another clip of the crater within a crater. This is the uh, one inside. You can, uh, up at the top, you can see water out there. That is the larger crater. And then you've got this other island within the crater uh, with its own crater. And I think people live on both of those areas. And here's a better video of that. You can see houses. And this is, there again, water in the background. So you're, you're on the, the smaller island within the crater overlooking the crater and people live there and work there, fish there. Dangerous place. And jumping back over to my own volcano, this is, uh, this is Legaspi City, basically in the shadow of my own vol volcano. So they have, I'm not sure if they have evacuated that area yet, but it is uh, in a danger zone, obviously, at some point in time, depending upon what that volcano does. The Philippines has a lot of great places uh, to live in and to visit, but you know what? Uh, it's worth considering these types of risks when you're when you're deciding. Uh, I know a lot of guys; they just go and live wherever their girlfriend, wife is from. Anyway, see you next time.